Hi, I'm Vinita. Today we are going to see a topic about quality specifications. Control forms in apparel industry. Sales tally form. This is made out of in the production control department. It collects all sales orders to enable production control to determine the total amount needed per style and color. It gives production control the information needed for ordering raw materials and scheduling the cutting orders with respect to size and color distribution and time. It contains the information such as style, color and style listing in chart form, the date, time span, daily or weekly and the serial number. Second one is purchase order. This gives a merchant the authority to ship raw materials to the industry. It is usually made out by purchasing production control or the departments using the materials or supplies. Some industries may use purchase requisition forms which are made out by production control or the department using the items. Third one is receiving memo. This is made out by the receiving department and lists the specification and amount of all raw materials and supplies that are received. Cutting order. This form is the initial work order made by production control. A cutting order is an authorization to cut a number of garments made from one or more types of fabric and which may be cut in one or more spreads. The cutting production control chart. This could be made in the cutting department for the purpose of controlling cutting department activities. What is cost control? Cost control is the method of reducing business expenses by managing and analyzing financial data. Collecting cost in a consolidated format allows organizations to make more accurate and informed projections know where they can minimize cost and identify areas of overspending. Functions of cost control, planning, in uh, motivation. Motivation is defined as the process that initiates, guides and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. Appraisal and reporting. Comparison has to be made with the predetermined targets and actual performance. Deficiencies are noted and discussion is started to the overcome deficiencies. There are 13 types of cost which are presented out in the below. Fixed cost, replacement cost, imputed cost, variable cost, semi-variable cost, research cost, step cost, conversion cost, development cost, shutdown cost, policy cost, sunk cost and differential cost. Fixed cost, it is the type of cost which remains constant and does not vary within a period of time and ranges of activity in spite of fluctuation in textile and apparel production is termed as fixed cost. Replacement cost, the cost which can be replaced by the management as a replacement of the existing cost is known as replacement cost. Imputed cost is the type of cost which does not involve in any cash outlay is known as imputed cost. It is not included in cost accounts but are important for taking into consideration while management decision variable cost the cost which varies directly in proportion to every increase or decrease in the volume of output or textile and apparel production is known as variable cost semi variable cost it does not vary proportionally but simultaneously cannot remain stationary at all the times is known as semi variable cost this or telephone charges, service, repairs and services. Research cost. Research cost incurred for searching new or improved products such as new application of products or materials or improved methods. Examples of this cost are courier charge, sample charge, etc. Step cost. Step cost which remains fixed over a range of activity and then jump to a new level as activity changes. Steps cost or rental cost of delivery vehicles. Conversation cost, the cost of transforming direct material into finished product. Exclusive of direct material cost is known as a conversation cost. Development cost, the cost of method of process which begins with implementation of the decision to produce a new or improved product and or to employ a new or improved methods and ends with the commencement of formal production. Shutdown cost, a manufacturer rendering service may have a suspend its production for a period of time on an account of some temporary difficulties like raw material shortages, labor shortage, strikes, etc. Policy cost. The cost of formulating the policy, directing the organization and controlling the operation of an undertaking which is not directly related to apparel, textile production, sales and distribution activity. 
sunk cost which have been created by the decision that was made in the past and cannot be changed by any decision that will be made in the future it is also known as past cost differential cost difference in total cost between two alternative choices is known as differential cost product costing and product pricing is an essential part of business to estimate the cost of control you need to develop skill on this by learning product costing method and product manufacturing processes this post is related to apparel manufacturing here you will find steps to prepare a cost of apparel products thank you